when I was able to vacuum, like that's the pinnacle of success for me. When I, there's enough floor to be able to vacuum. <laughs> Hey, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share another amazingly inspiring transformation video with you. I can't wait for you to see it. It is a bit long, but trust me, it's worth it. This is Michelle, and this is her transformation. Uh, my name is Michelle, obviously. I'm um, 54, and I have a wonderful husband and 20-year-old son who's in college, and um, I've basically um, been chronically disorganized all my life. I'm miserable in my own home. I need to make it my happy place now. I mean, it sounds weird that my house isn't my happy place, but you know, every room I go in, it's it's just so stressful. I mean, not every room, but <laughs> this is the worst one. Tell me, tell me what you want to do in this space. Is it just work? Is it just an office space? Like what's your dream function for this room? Um, my dream is, is it for to be my crawfish, my craft your, room slash I love office. that term. <laughs> crawfish, um, yes. There's a lot going on in this room. <laughs> You think? <laughs> There's a lot. So you you do gift wrapping in here. You do um, yeah. crafting in here. And I see so much paper. I see so yeah. much paper. So tell me what is, yeah. what is in these banker boxes here? Well, um, it's just stuff that I need to go through that I've just put aside until I have time to go through it. Is like it this all is- all paper. Um, these are blank greeting cards because I see one, you know, I get one when I see one and think, oh, that's great for Amy's birthday next year. So <laughs> if I, if I need one next year, I won't be able to find this exact one. I have miscellaneous photos to sort. I've got, um, cards to go through that I've received for birthdays or Christmas. Um, look at my face right now. I I am not, I need you, I am not feeling Ladybug at all. Really? No. I need you, do you have a space in your house that you feel comfortable showing me that that you're able, that like, it doesn't have to be tidy, but just like, yeah, it's easy for you to put things away, like you're keeping it organized. Yeah. This is uh, the greatest thing that I'm bringing a stranger in my house without having to clean up first. I am not <laughs> judging you. There is so no empowering. There is no judgment here at all. But I really want to say I I I'm I want to separate the fantasy you from the real life you and I really got to okay. get in a look at how you're actually living. Uh, the kitchen that's the fridge because well, the fridge is empty. Yes, because it has because it there's Cause it no has other to way. Be. nothing can stick to it. Um, but these are my kitchen counters. Um, Ladybugs are like kind of crazy about not seeing their stuff to the point where they're like hide everything even if they're not using it. Gotcha. And I think. Gotcha. You want that. Yes. I think you want to have nothing out. Yes. But I also think being a butterfly is not a bad thing. And you, and you may have a touch of bee in you. I'm feeling it a little Whoa. bit. Whoa. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you want to see all your stuff. It doesn't, right, right. It doesn't because... mean that at all. It just means your natural tendency is to leave things out. Yeah, because it's easier than putting it away. Sometimes people get really confused about their clutter bug organizing style, and I think it comes down to what you hope your space look like and how you actually live in your space, or the organizing style you think you should be versus what you really are. And with Michelle, she was adamant that she was a ladybug, but I was seeing a lot of visual organization. I was seeing a lot of open shelving that was working, clear containers were working for her. It was the hidden spaces that weren't working for her. And so I definitely think that she is more of a visual organizer. And the truth is 
she is kind of detailed too. So I thought that she was butterfly, but the more I got to know her, she's definitely leaning towards a bee. So visual and micro organization, which means we can use a lot of the pieces she already has. I almost can feel like your anxiety. We haven't even started even talking about decluttering and you're already like, I don't want to get rid of anything. I'm really bad at letting go. But that's a lie you're telling yourself, right? Yeah. Because you haven't practiced it. Everybody's mm -hmm. bad at letting go in the beginning. It stresses everybody out. It's hard for everyone. And yeah. that doesn't mean that you have a problem with letting go. And I don't want you to tell yourself that because as soon as you tell yourself that, then you're going to be like, oh no, I, I have a problem letting go. And I'm a, a bit of a hoarder and I can't let go. That's, that's not at all true. It's hard okay. for everyone to let go in the beginning and it really takes practice. So we're going to start really small okay. to build up your confidence to like, it's like a muscle decluttering, right? Hmm. You have to flex it. You have to build it up because it is very scary. And every time we do something scary in the past, our anxiety is like, avoid that because that makes us feel bad. So yeah. you've been avoiding this because you're like, it's scary. I'm going to avoid it. Oh, I feel better. I didn't have to do that scary thing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you that the scary thing isn't scary. It's like a roller coaster, <laughs> right? You're like, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, yeah. It actually <laughs> felt really good. Yes. And then the more we do that, the more you're going to be like, oh, decluttering, like it's like an address. It feels good. Mm -hmm. right? And we're going to slowly get there. And the way that we're going to do that is today, we're only focusing on trash. Okay. And I know you think you don't have any trash in here, but you have trash. Yeah. So can you go grab a garbage bag or a recycling bag? There's going mm -hmm. to be some paper. We might shred some things, but nothing stressful, nothing okay. emotional. We're going to hunt for trash together. Materials for a planner that I tried to use, but I didn't sustain it. So that I could donate. I mean, that's brand new. Um, you're already, wait a minute. You're already going straight to the donate. You, you're oh, better at this than oh, you think. Sorry. I thought I'd have to ease you into this. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, let, let's let's put that in a donate pile then. Okay. I um, also have bought all the fancy planners and wasted all the money. And it didn't work. And we don't feel bad about that because that isn't us and that's fine. It's going to take time, but I, I want you to like find this fun. I want you to start like associating this with self-care and mm -hmm. sort of like man this this I can do this and I'm good at this because right now I feel like you have this feeling that you're bad at organizing and that you're mm. not good at managing stuff sure you, you you can't let go of things it's hard for you I think you're mm -hmm. telling yourself all of these things which is making it true mm-hmm and so I want you to start telling yourself the opposite and proving to yourself in little tiny ways. So we're going to give you a win. Okay. I am excited. I'm ready to roll. I'm so excited. <laughs> Michelle just kept saying how bad she was at decluttering over and over again, how hard it was for her and how she couldn't get rid of anything at all. And so we definitely had to start really slow to prove to her that it wasn't as hard as she thought and that she was capable. So we started with trash and then I just told her for homework to get rid of half of her gift wrapping supplies. So half of the gift bags and the bows and the cards and that was it. It was a relatively small homework project but I knew she had to build up those decluttering muscles. This is the 50% I'm donating, gift bags, bows, Here's another donate pile, another big pile of items to donate or toss. How has it been going since we talked last? Um, it's been going well. I mean, I was a little slow out of the gate. I was blind to it before. Um, I just needed to see it through somebody else's eyes. 
And like when I started on my closet and all my gift wrapping supplies, um, getting that down to 50% of what I had, um, I couldn't believe that I pretty much had a whole Hallmark store in my closet. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck do I have all this for? You just become immune to it when you see it every day. What the but heck? <laughs> so that was all the gift supplies and I got all my bags down to this one bin. Um, and I got rid of half of the bows. Um, still looks like a lot, but it's, That's it's, ha it's half. Um, and then I got half rid of half of the gift boxes. I'm like, what do I need all these boxes for? I had gotten these, of course, on clearance somewhere and thought they were cute, but I don't need a dozen of them. <laughs> um, yeah, you freed up so much space. A huge win. That's incredible because you have so many things in here that were important that you want to use, but there wasn't space and you've just freed up space for some of that stuff. So that's awesome. Yeah, very excited to um, figure out what I can store in there next. One of the biggest issues in Michelle's space was that everything was everywhere. Nothing was zoned. And so her homework was to go through and dedicate different areas in the room to different activities. I suggested the tall white cabinet be for her memories and photos. The wooden unit would be for her scrapbooking and one half of the space was just for her office and work business supplies while the other half was just for scrapbooking. And it was a big job, but I knew that she could do it it's a whole new world like i the whole zoning thing that's my new favorite word is zoning because it's made such a huge difference and I, I mean i just needed an extra set of eyes to look at the room and tell me you know well why don't you separate business from um you know crafting and um i mean matt just gave me the right structure and guidelines I needed to um, make a home, you know, a proper home for everything. So um, yeah, so I'm all zoned out. <laughs> You're all zoned out. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So I would love it if you showed me the space and then just like walked me through what you've done so far. Sure. All right. Let me switch the camera. All right. You're sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am actually sitting down. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh, Michelle. What? Tell me. Tell me. Where did everything go? Well, all right. So you remember those four bins that were stacked right there? I got them down to one because that was mostly scrapbooking stuff. So I, you know, I divided it between that unit and this now free bookshelf. And um, the one remaining bin is under there now. Um, and then, you know, whatever else I could fit in the tall cabinet. Um, and then I, I cleared the top off and put my photo boxes up there, um, which I still have more of down there, but at least it's better than it was. <laughs> yeah, you've zoned this. Like before you had photo albums everywhere. You had photos like here, there and everywhere. Yeah. So now yeah. it's all in one space. This, this is really right. good. <laughs> it's so when i was able to vacuum like that's the pinnacle of success for me when i there's enough floor to be able to vacuum <laughs> michelle had done such an amazing job i was just so proud of her she was definitely way more organized than i thought and for the final homework i wanted her to see that i wanted her to build her confidence so i wasn't offering suggestions I wanted her to design something to go on the wall above her desk on her own. Up until now, I was offering suggestions on where to put things, how to organize things, what supplies that she needed, but now it was time for her to just 
find the confidence and do it on her own. And I could tell how nervous she was because I wasn't giving any direction at all. I said, you got this. Design something fabulous and surprise me. And she did. Exciting day. <laughs> it is an exciting day. So did your husband, has he seen this? He has, he saw it. And um, after I used the smelling salts on him to, <laughs> to revive him, his first word was, wow. Um, and then, you know, this is great. He just uh, was blown away. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Okay. <gasps> oh my. Okay, <laughs> tell me, this is beautiful. <laughs> tell me about this. So this is now my dedicated scrapbooking space. Um, I organize, you know, the most used tools on the desk and made it pretty. And, is that my um, face? <laughs> of course, you had to be part of this. You and <laughs> and the sparkly butthole. It's my favorite, my favorite painting. Yes, <laughs> I love that. This looks so beautiful. Thank Tell you. me how you're feeling. I feel like I, I don't believe this is really the same room. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's amazing. It's a new, it's a totally new space. You hung um, other things too. And this is all, oh my gosh, this, <laughs> not only does it look good, everything is zoned, everything is organized. I'm really impressed. Well, I mean, I would have never thought to zone if it weren't for you. So, I mean, you're, you're as responsible for this change <laughs> as, as I am, but, um, yeah, it's exciting. I just, I can come in here and it's, can be my new, um, instead of my dump and run, it's my dream and do <laughs> room. So, uh, yeah, I, I got the, um, the magazine. <gasps> Those are stunning. And I haven't labeled them yet, but, um, you know, I've got my work stuff in here, my order forms and oops, that's empty. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've just got my daily uh, papers organized in there. And, and I love the color. It's so it's beautiful, but it's really functional too. And it's visual, right? You can easily access it and put it away. Yeah, it's a whole different feel. It's really beautiful. And I love that you have this zone for scrapbooking. This is your memory zone in that tall cabinet there. And, yeah. and then the other side of the room is for your business and for work. Are you so proud of yourself? Yeah, it proved to me that I can do it. And um, I just needed someone to light the fire under me and inspire me. <laughs> And um, now it can be my happy place, whereas before it was just a stressful place to come into. So I look forward to spending a lot more time in here and um, being productive and creative. I'm so proud of you. And I know this has been hard, but I know it's seeing real people make real transformations that inspires me. And I know that you're gonna help and motivate and inspire everyone watching. So. Just thank you so much. I'm so thankful for this opportunity. You'll never know. Well, it's my pleasure and we'll tackle another space soon. Yay! We'll, <laughs> you, you pick and, and we'll work together. But for now, like go scrapbook, enjoy this <laughs> space. Make a little bit of a mess now that it's so pretty. Um, right? <laughs> actually enjoy it for sure. So yeah, All just right. congratulations. Thanks Cass. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're feeling as inspired as I am. I know this was a long video, but oh, I just didn't know. There was so much amazing stuff to include and we cut so much out, but I just, oh, I'm so proud of her. And I definitely wanted to show you the whole transformation. And instead of an end story, I wanted to share this really emotional moment that we had together when just talking about, you know, 
when it was time for her to design, put things on the wall and do it on her own and I wasn't giving her direction and she was really stressed about it, she didn't feel like she could do it without me telling her what to do, um, just just watch our, our conversation. So, so much emotion and hopefully you can also relate. I want you to see yourself the way I see you, which is like, you are amazing and you're very organized and incredibly like gifted and talented and have an artistic eye. And so you got this. Me? Or just like, yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah. So I'm talking, about, I'm talking about you. <laughs> so I'm excited to see what you come up with. This is so relatable because there is literally millions of people who are feeling exactly how you are feeling. Overwhelmed, don't know where to start. Yeah. thinking they have to spend a ton of money thinking they need just to completely spend months mm -hmm. to tackle a space and you're showing yeah. everyone that you don't need any of that mm -hmm. you just need just, a, a, just someone to light the fire <laughs> someone to light the fire and you're gonna be lighting that fire for everyone who's watching too that would be great if i could help other people that you would be 100 percent are oh. Yeah, that would, that would be the icing on the cake. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm, we're both like the crybaby. <laughs> Are you Barbara Walters? Are you trying to make anyone cry? <laughs> I'm, I'm just really proud of you. And I think, I think a big reason why I struggled with clutter for so long is I wasn't confident in myself. And I was waiting for somebody else to tell me what I should do because I didn't trust myself. And I know that's you too. Yeah. So you're doing it on your own. And, and I, I'm just like, I'm so proud of you. And I know that everybody at home that feels the way we feel is going to be inspired too. Okay. Um Thank you so much for the opportunity. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. I mean, you're brave. You're putting yourself out there. And um, I know how hard it is. <laughs> you're not crying. I'm crying. I'm oh, not crying. You're crying. We're all <laughs> crying. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, oh, I'm so proud of you because it's not just about the craft room in your office. It's like the dining room table and you're going to get the files out of there. And I know you're just going to keep going. Like this is the catalyst of change for the rest yeah. of your life. Yes. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm here for the ride. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>